No, this is as bad as it's ever been. Yeah, for sure. The horse racing industry in Alberta is in crisis. A lot of people would think that horse racing is, is a dying breed right now. Um, not having people coming out to watch, it's, it's got to be telling these people that, you know, how, how much longer can, can horse racing put up? How much longer will horse racing be around? Driver and trainer Daryl Cutting has spent 27 years in the business. He has seen many changes throughout the years. There's so much action out there now for, for the gambler that, you know, back in the 80s there wasn't uh, casinos on every corner and there wasn't uh, sports action and stuff like that. Horse racing was pretty much one of the, the fewer gambling feeds in town. So, To make things much worse, Stampede Park in Calgary has closed down and constant setbacks with the new track at Balzac has left Edmonton's Northlands as Alberta's only A-quality track. The two camps of horse racing, thoroughbred and standard bred, also known as harness racing, are now stuck competing for race days. Northlands has guaranteed thoroughbred 100 days of racing, leaving standard bred drastically cut down to about 50 days. Pretty good possibility I'll end up with a nice horse farm here and no horses on it. We used to have 140 days of racing. And with any luck at all, next year we're going to have 50 or 60. So it means to me, for sure, there's absolutely no possibility to break even with, with 60 days of A racing. Originally from Quebec, Gagne is a third generation horse racer. He bought his farm 70 kilometers south of Edmonton two years ago to breed and train horses. Less places and fewer days to race means horsemen like Gagne can't keep going. That's pretty tragic. Yeah, it is. It's about as, uh, as tragic as it could be. Some have already decided to leave. One of Alberta's top horsemen, Travis Umphrey, is packing up his stable of 30 horses and leaving for Ontario, which he says is friendlier to harness racing and has more tracks. Due to the fact uh, our, our race dates are limited, uh, I have been forced to uh, re relocate to uh, you know, a jurisdiction that has, that has more race dates. Losing Travis to Ontario right now is, is huge. A lot of people will look at that and say, well, if Travis is leaving, you know, what is that gonna, what's, what's that gonna mean for the years to come here in Alberta? If you look at the dates allocated for 2009, uh, that's not a fair shake and uh, we just want our fair shake. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I would say they're getting the short end of the stick, but did Northlands pick the thoroughbred business model over the standard bread business model? Yes, we did when we announced 100 days. There, there's no doubt about that. Uh, we did it because we felt there the business model that we can build around thoroughbred racing, which frankly has a wider appeal than standard bred racing. Uh, it in tracks a little bit more investment. It does capture the imagination of the customers a little more. Uh, absolutely, we did pick one over the other. You know, like uh, I think we've been. I'm not sure if we have been respect or to what level really, like with uh, the way we've been treated and, and, and to what we've been told. We're supposed to listen to our leaders. I start to have some doubt in my mind now about, about their real intentions, uh, I should say. Alberta born and raised, and uh, the last thing I want to do is leave my home.